Just how big of a setback is this for Houthi rebels and how might they respond? Well, Samad was referred to by the Houthis as uh, the president. He was the president of the areas under their control. His photo would be in the government offices and things like that. But you've got to remember that Samad, in a way, can be compared, I guess, in the Iranian system, perhaps, to Rouhani, in that Abdel Malik al-Houthi is the supreme leader of the Houthi movement. He's a spiritual leader akin to Khamenei in Iran, whereas Saleh al-Samad is the political face uh, as Rouhani is in Iran. So he is important. He was, as you mentioned, the number two Houthi officially, especially on the, the Saudi bounty list as well. He was number two as well. There was a $20 million reward for, for his capture or death or anything that leads to that. So they regarded his, uh, him as important. But of course, you've also got to remember that in the Houthi movement, he was um, not a Sayyid. He wasn't part of that religious class that dominates the leadership of the Houthi movement. And therefore, he would never be able to get into those top ranks but what it does indicate is that the coalition has been able to target these Houthi leaders and get closer and closer to the top in a way that they weren't able to at the start of the war. Okay.